Hello everybody, it's Tony here from Weaver Gaming and welcome to episode 7 of your How to Program Basic Plugins for Bucket. Now, I went away and did some research and it turns out, that, well, this happened ages ago but I just forgot about it, that Bucket have changed the way they process commands. So, there's no event for commands anymore and on command uh, public void won't work. So that means when we created this play listener with the on player command, that no longer works. So don't worry, I I actually know a way how to get around that. So what we're gonna need to do is we're actually gonna need to delete the player listener because we don't actually need it anymore. So let's get rid of it. Just click continue. Right now that's deleted. And we need to get rid of where it defines the player listener. And um, that's something I did earlier, and I'll show you what it's going to do in a minute. And we've got errors like crazy here. There we go. Right, the errors are gone. Well, the majority of them, but these ones don't even exist yet. So we don't need the play command pre process. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Uh, keep the uh, block listener one there because we will actually need that eventually. That's my phone going off. We do not need this plugin loader, so let's get rid of that. This is uh, all of the updates that have come to Bucket, so we don't need any of these. And a new bit of the code we're going to be inputting, first of all, will be the one you saw up here. So instead of system out print line, um, you can get the log of the console, because system print line to the console is a bit, it's not 100% reliable, it's a bit shaky. If you print out to the log, like the system log, it's much more, it's quicker, it's more reliable, it's easier to do. So first of all we need to get the log. So we're gonna do public final ah can't spell today logger equals logger dot get logger and the logger we want to get is of Minecraft. I don't know if it wanted me. There. Okay. So we've got the logger. Some code on there. Right. So now we want to change this. This is currently printing out to um, well, printing out to the console, but we want it to print out to the console log like in a different way. So what we need to do is we need to do this dot logger dot info. No, I can't type today. And what that's going to do is it's going to get the uh, Going to get the logger and it's going to print out the information, so it'll say basic disabled. And we want to do that to the same down here. This will be this dot logger dot info. And there we go, it's going to get that. And make sure you always leave a space in between your uh, speech marks, otherwise, when you print out the system, it's going to just not going to look good because it is, an, uh, is enabled, will be right close up to. Uh, to the other pieces of text before it, so make sure you do that. And I'm sure you're wanting to know how the commands are processed now. Well, because there is an absence of on command and the event player underscore command, um, I'm going to teach you how. Um, a bit of story, the main reason they changed it is because big plugins with a lot of commands uh, had their player listener spammed with the on command, you know how I showed you earlier in the player listener. It was a long, 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 long line of code which just, it looked really ugly. So what we do here is we go underneath uh, the on enable and we're going to type in public boolean on command command sender sender command cmd string command label string two little square brackets RGS okay put a parenthesis there I'm going to type all out and I'll go back and explain it later okay and that needs to be a capital C I'll, I'll sort that out later I'll just get this finished string I don't want to put a line string command label string uh, you should basically know what these are doing because uh, we sorted out the string earlier so you know I don't think I, I'm not putting any splits in here so it's just getting the string because there is no split within the code that we're typing in 
if commands label uh, spell command there wrong dot here, uh, here comes the equals ignore case again we cover true that in the playlist now it's the equals ignore case and here comes the command that we're sorting out it's going to be <clears throat> basic okay and again we're going to want it to recognize b as well so we're going to be doing command label again equals ignore case because we're not looking for uh, case it's not case sensitive and we're going to want it to do b okay Let's put the bracket there and <clears throat> relating back to the toggle vision we're going to want it to do toggle vision player Want some brackets there, and we want it to do sender. Okay. Uh, we just want to enter a return false. Uh, that means anything we do, we return false if it's not the right thing. So basically, what's going on here? It's going to be the public true or false value on the command. Gets the command sender. Gets the command the CMD. Gets the string of the command label. Finds the string. And it gets a string here, and if the command, and it doesn't care about case, is basic, or the command doesn't care about case, is B, it will toggle the vision of the player, which is down here, which will input them into the enabled or the disabled, and it will send them a message. Okay. Uh, that's basic. I think that's the updates uh, for what I needed to do. Obviously, there is no player listener anymore, so we don't have to worry about that. This public boolean here handles whenever the player talks. Um, I don't know why that's firing up errors, but I'll probably have it fixed for the next tutorial. I know this has been a short tutorial, but I just needed to get the, uh, the patches of the code out there. So, next time, we will be getting onto the block listener. I probably said that last tutorial, but I had to get the fixes out here. Uh, we'll probably get onto the block listener. Um, and I think after the block listener we've only got one more tutorial until this is going to be finished so yeah this, is, this has gone quite quickly so thank you guys for watching if you like this video make sure you leave a like subscribe comment um, and thank you thank you for watching I'll see you next time for more basic bucket plugin tutorials alright I'll see you then